Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today. And this week we get a little Star Wars action guys because I'm ready. I got my Star Wars shirt on here because we got Solo, a Star Wars story hitting store shelves this week along with the sports comedy Uncle Drew, the crime drama Gotti. We also have the horror comedy uh, Puppet Master the Littlest Reich. And Screen Factory is releasing the Wreck Collection on Blu-ray, as well as a collector's edition of The Exorcist 2, The Heretic, plus much, much more. So let's go in and see the deals, exclusives, and we're at our first location, Walmart. So let's go in and see what they got. Alright guys, we are in at Walmart here, and I am just seeing this display for Solo, a Star Wars story here not bad and the first thing i'm seeing over here is they have the blu-ray here for solo star wars story for 22.96 and bob and i did a movie review on solo star wars story you can catch it on the movie review playlist and we also did a spoiler discussion talking about this movie we talked about all the spoilers um the deaths the cameos uh where the Star Wars franchise could go next. Uh, we talked about all that stuff. Definitely check it out under the spoiler discussion playlist. And honestly, we were surprised. We generally, we enjoyed this movie. I know that I certainly did. I wasn't expecting it because, you know, I heard so many bad things, so many issues with, on set and the changing of the directors and just so much issues with this movie, the reshoots, everything. It was just a real, just, ah, God, it was just a complete pain in the ass from hearing everything that was going on with this movie. And the trailers, honestly, the trailers didn't wow me either, guys. The trailers were just kind of lackluster at best. So, I was going in with really sort of tempered expectations. I wasn't sure even how this movie was going to be. I, 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 honestly, I was thinking it was going to be a dud. But honestly, I really enjoyed the movie, guys. I thought it was a really fun movie. It really felt sort of like the spirit of an old school adventure film back in the day it really it really was a surprise to me i really enjoyed it a lot and i know a lot of people stayed away from solo because of issues with the franchise or um people didn't like the last jedi there's a whole lot of issues but honestly i think it's worth checking out if you haven't checked out solo it's not bad i actually really do enjoy it i think it's a pretty cool movie and all i'm seeing here is the blu-ray I don't see any exclusives or anything here. Um, maybe the exclusive is actually just the Blu-ray. It might be, but it doesn't say any Walmart exclusive on it. Hmm. Uh, let's see if they have anything else here. Any more solo stuff to check out and all the releases that Walmart got in. All right. Let's check it out, guys. All right, guys. We are in this section of Walmart and... I'm also seeing they have the DVD here of Solo for 1996, and they don't have any copies, but the 4K over here was 29.96. That must have like sold out really quickly. So yeah, the 4K is 29.96 here as well. Again, I think the main exclusive here is just the Blu-ray itself. Um, that's what I'm thinking it is here at Walmart. Now I'm also seeing over here they have. The 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital of Uncle Drew for $24.96. They also have this only at Walmart exclusive Uncle Drew bobblehead here, which is really weird for Uncle Drew. I wasn't thinking we were going to see any exclusives, but there you go. We got the bobblehead here for $22.96. The Blu-ray DVD and Digital for $19.96 and the DVD here for $14.96. And I actually got a chance to watch this movie on Amazon Prime. I, you know what? When it was hitting theaters and I saw the trailer, I wasn't big on it. I just, it didn't look like something I was honestly interested in. But watching the movie, I have to admit to you guys that it is, it is fun. It's a fun little comedy. Um, it's not absolutely hilarious. The jokes don't always pop. But I like I like the chemistry with all of the the people in the movie, the actors, the the former basketball players. 
it was fun. It was it, it it's it's harmless fun, honestly. And the movie really reminds me a lot of um, the Blues Brothers, sort of getting the gang back together, the old gang, and you know, um, doing this this epic thing one last time kind of deal. It's it, it's it's kind of harmless fun, and I wasn't expecting much out of the movie, and I was actually really surprised. It 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 was. It was a pretty decent movie overall. And again, I like the chemistry between them and it looked like they had fun making it. It definitely showed. Not a bad movie, guys, honestly. Not bad at all. Then over here I am seeing they have the Blu-ray and digital of Occupation for $14.96 and the DVD for $12.96 here. I have no idea what this movie is, but I do like the cover though. The cover looks really cool. Um, a new dawn is upon us. Uh, a town. Uh, okay, not bad. I like the I like the back cover too. Very cool, very futuristic. Blowing shit up, buildings crumbling, all that jazz. Not bad. It kind of looks cool. You know, if I was sort of a blind buyer here at Walmart, it's it's a cool cover, worth it. I like cool sci-fi flicks. Might be right down my alley. If you guys know anything about occupation let me know the next thing I'm also seeing here is they got Gotti the DVD for $12.96 and the blu-ray for $14.96 here and I got a chance to watch this movie guys and oh my lord <laughs> this movie is not good and I'm being nice uh, oh jeez, uh, this movie had so many troubles, guys, and now actually watching the movie, I kind of see it, it's really just a mess of a movie, it's, the acting is really terrible, very amateurish, um, the directing is really amateurish and, and sloppy, uh, the movie is trying to be almost like a Goodfellas type of movie, really hard-hitting crime drama, and it's completely failing. It even fails as a biopic because you really don't really even delve into Gotti as much as you really should here. It's, ah, it just fails on almost every damn level. And it's a real shame because it could have been cool. It, it could have been, but it just really flopped big time. And uh, people I know were really sick of the movie because of the whole movie pass situation and they were overhyping the movie, and they, there was even this like weird sort of um, commercial thing for Gotti, I think. Um, some sort of weird thing about um, the critics were wrong about the movie or something. Really weird, and I can't really even explain to you really why. It's just why they were took out that ad. It's really weird, but look it up on, on YouTube they just the whole promotion of the movie everything was messed up it's a terrible terrible movie yeah it didn't work guys uh, then the next thing over here I am seeing is uh, the seagull the DVD for 1496 here uh, have never heard of this movie uh, 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 huh. could be cool I don't, like I said, I don't know much about it. Mm. One summer, one summer, one summer. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about it. Could be kind of cool. I like Annette Benning. I like Sorcery Ronan. Corey Stoll. Eh, okay, not bad. Looks like this period movie. Could be interesting. Every single actor dazzles in the room. Hmm. Straight to DVD, but I don't know. Kind of like it. Uh. Also, I'm seeing here Hot Summer Nights, the DVD for $12.96 here. Uh, you know what? I actually have heard of this movie. Um, I haven't actually got a chance to watch it yet, but I've heard a lot of good things from people who actually have caught it. I like the cover art. The cover art's really cool here. And I think it's about this guy who, or this kid played by Timothee Chalamet, who ends up... Um, uh, helping this guy out with some some drug thing, dealing drugs and getting into this whole issue over the summer and this experience of ma making friends and everything like that. It's it's 
sort of this coming of age movie, I think it is. I heard really good things about Hot Summer Nights, but again, I have not gotten a chance to watch it. I really do like Timothee Chalamet. He's a really great actor. I definitely would be interested to see any movie he's in. Yeah, I would be up for watching this. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Hot Summer Nights. I definitely got to give it a watch. Then over here, I am seeing the DVD of The Row for $12.96 here, this horror movie. Um... I believe I saw a trailer for this movie, and this trailer completely, honestly turned me off. Um, it's one, it felt kind of empty of a horror movie, at least the trailer did. Uh, it just, mm, I didn't really like the trailer to it too much. Thank you very much. And turned into dolls by a circular. Mm, it didn't really, it sort of looks very generic to me, it, uh, this new generic horror movie. And unfortunately, guys, the problem is a lot of these newer horror movies tend to be very generic now. Y you know what I mean? They're not, I, I hate to be the old curmudgeon, but they're not as good as they used to be. You know what I'm saying? It could still be sort of a movie I may watch on, on Netflix. If it hits on, on Netflix, sort of like a, a rainy day, watch it, but... For the most part, I would probably pass on this movie. I got a ton of horror movies to watch. This one probably is not up my alley anyways. Then the other thing over here I am seeing is they have Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich here, the DVD for $12.96, the Blu-ray for $14.96, and the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray for $19.96 here, guys. And... I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime, and very interesting, this movie is sort of a soft reboot to the whole Puppet Master franchise. I've heard sort of the, the producers talk about it as sort of taking place in a parallel universe to the other Puppet Master movies. Okay, I, I guess, I mean, it's honestly though, it's not bad. I actually really did enjoy the movie quite a lot. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, maybe for the movie to be very cheesy, and yeah, it's kind of cheesiness, but I actually really did enjoy it. It was actually a really fun movie to watch. The the gore and everything here is phenomenal, man. The, the, the kills and the gore and the blood are fucking awesome. It's really cool, man. I really loved it a lot. Yeah, man, I was really pleasantly surprised by the Pub Master. Not a great movie by any means, but if you like the Puppet Master franchise, this still might be down your alley. Like I said, it's a soft reboot, but I really do like the puppets in here and the killing, and yeah, the story's a little weak, but this is Puppet Master, guys. You're not going to get the most dynamic story, you know what I mean? But I do think, for a horror fan, the gore and blood alone is really worth it to check out. Really, really worth it. And that is all I'm seeing here at Walmart, guys. So, uh, let's see if Walmart has anything else to check out. Alright guys, we're over in this section of Walmart. I'm seeing a couple things here. They have The Gifted, the complete first season DVD for $17.96 here. Um, I have not seen this show but I have heard good things about The Gifted. Uh, it seems like they are coming back for a second season. I heard this show is actually connected to the X-Men franchise or the X-Men universe. Yeah, again, I was kind of hesitant to check it out only because um, there's not as much TV that I'm really into anymore like I used to be. And... I usually wait to hear what your guys' opinions are on these shows before I even give them a chance. It could be cool, though. I mean, it definitely does say, yeah, connected to the X-Men universe. Yeah, like I said, they're doing all these sort of X-Men shows now. This could actually be pretty cool. But definitely let me know what you guys think. Should I get into it? Should I not? Skip it? Definitely let me know. Also seeing here, they got the DVD of 911, the complete first season for $17.96. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this. I actually saw sort of trailers for the new season of it. Um, this looks kind of generic of a show. 
not something I'm really into, guys. Um, a lot of these generic sort of dramas, whether it's hospital dramas or cop dramas, um, they usually don't really do it for me. So I don't know if this is really even good, but definitely let me know. You know, cover's not bad. Then I'm also seeing over here they have a DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the complete third season for $22.96 here. And, oh, um, you know, it seems like now every week we're getting something new coming out here. Um, you know what, we got, like last week we got, of course, Supergirl, and of course we got that, we got DC's, we got um, uh, Arrow, and we had a whole bunch of stuff coming out, and I guess now it's, it's DC's Legends of Tomorrow's turn. I've really maybe seen one episode, maybe two, and it hasn't, I've been kind of mixed on it. I wasn't really a fan, so I didn't really continue it. I've heard people be kind of mixed on the actual show itself. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, yeah, and you know what, I've kind of heard a lot of mixed opinions on DC shows in general. You either like it or, or you don't. There's really no mixed opinion here. I like the cover though, the cover's really cool. Edgebank, I really love the cover to all of the DC's Legends of Tomorrow shows because actually they do a really cool job. The, the covers are always dynamic, I love them. Hmm. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. And the other thing I'm seeing over here is they have MacGyver Season 2 on DVD for 1996 here. Ah, <sighs> why, why do they have to reboot MacGyver? I, I just, I, I don't really see the point in it. I don't see the point in rebooting MacGyver. I just, you know, I love me some, some Richard Dean Anderson. And, you know, not saying Lucas Till is a bad actor, but he's no Richard Dean. Put it that way, guys. I don't know. That's kind of, eh, for me. But let me know what you guys think of MacGyver. Other than that, that does it for this section. Let's see if there's anything else that uh, Walmart may have to show us. Alright guys, we are in this area of Walmart, and I'm seeing actually a couple things that also got released this week as well. They have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital of American Psycho for $17.96 here. And my god, do I love this fucking movie, guys. <laughs> this movie is fantastic. I fucking love it. Christian Bale is killer in it. Well, duh, of course he is. But it is absolutely awesome, and it's one of the best sort of um, horror films to come out in probably the last, like, 20 years or so. It's just really odd, bizarre. Um, I love the kills. I think the directing is great. It's, it's, it's a really fantastic film. If you guys have never catched it, definitely do it, man. You guys would really love it. And I don't know how good the 4K is going to be on this, but uh, it's got to be better than the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray wasn't so hot as far as picture quality was concerned, and I have I have heard good things from a couple of reviews, so hopefully the 4K is going to be much better. I'm, I'm hoping. It, it, this movie definitely deserves it, guys. And the other thing I am seeing is I am seeing... Ooh, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray of Halloween for $17.96, The Night He Came Home, and man, this is a great, great fucking movie, classic, you guys know that already, and I really can't wait for the new movie to come out in October, that should actually be really, really cool, and... I know a lot of people are definitely interested in this title. I don't know how well it's going to look in 4K. I think it could be really good. I think the picture quality could be if they took care of it and if they ended up like um, clean, cleaning it up. But I don't really know if this title needs it. You know, a lot of these titles from the 70s, once you sort of clean it up for 4K, it doesn't have the same kind of feel as what it would on VHS or DVD or even Blu-ray for that matter. I don't know if it's worth picking it up. Um, for me, I am kind of interested only because I have two Blu-rays of Halloween. I have um, the regular Blu-ray that came out years ago, and I have that Digibook Anniversary Edition that came out as well. And this actually has all of the special features from both of those releases. So, at least I think it does. And... I'm kind of really interested to maybe buy this only because it has all of the stuff 
from all of the releases so maybe it could be cool to pick up but I still really like that digi book I think it's out of print now so that could still be cool to have and I still like the the blu-ray of it I think the picture quality is great on that blu-ray so I don't know if this is worth it to pick up definitely let me guys let me know what you guys think about this but it's cool that Walmart definitely does have it uh, well cool releases for 4k if you guys are interested in it and let's see what else Walmart has to show us guys Alright guys, we're in this section and they have this Halloween spooktacular display here of all different sort of cover art and some interesting things here to show. It comes with a free treat bag <laughs> for all you kids out there. Um, let's see here, they got Glow in the Dark art series, that's interesting, for Casper, for Paranorman, new art there, cover art, box trolls. Coraline, Unfortunate Events, Combo of Adam's Family Movies, Spiderway Chronicles, Rango, see here, all this stuff here. more Glow in the Dark art series, very cool, that's actually really cool that, I, you know, I'm assuming they really glow in the dark at night. I just, that, that would just be really cool to just sort of have all this stuff actually like lined up and have it glow in the dark. That would be really cool actually. Uh, yeah. New artwork here for the Goonies <laughs> with Woodchunk. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the Corpse Bride. More glow in the dark art series here. Interesting. Yeah, that's what they got here. Hmm. Yes, because my monster truck is really scary. Oh boy. Uh, Glow in the Dark art series. Still, Nanny McPhee. The Monster Family Forward. That is probably really cool. I really like that that one a lot. That's awesome. The Scooby Doo Two Movie Collection. Mm. Oh, that, that's a really cool one, too. I like that one. Yeah, not a bad display. Sort of stuff for kids there. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff here for the kids, very cool stuff that they got. I really like the Glow in the Dark art series. That is really cool. And I'm really tempted to, to buy one because I'd like to see if it actually glows in the dark or not. That would be cool. Yeah, actually not bad. I really like what, what they got here. Very cool so, selection of titles for, uh, for, for the kids. And maybe for you adults out there that like this, these cool movies and cool new slip covers and art. Not bad. All right. Very cool here at Walmart. Let's head out, guys. So I'm really loving the selection this week at Walmart. There's a lot of really cool... Um, artwork and slip covers and exclusives. I wasn't exactly prepared for that Uncle Drew exclusive because I didn't really think we'd even get something for that, but that's cool. The bobblehead, if you guys are interested in it. Yeah, a lot of really interesting selection here at Walmart. A lot of really cool media coming out this week. The displays, you know I love that, guys. You know I definitely love that stuff. So, yeah, as usual, love it here at Walmart. Lots of stuff to see. And let's hope that the trend continues at the other stores as well, guys. All right, let's check out what the other stores got. All right, everybody, we are at our second location, Target. Now, like I said, man, I really love that Walmart selection, man. I thought it was really cool. And this seems to be the week where we're going to get some pretty decent exclusives. So I'm hoping Target can really keep pace. We may have some cool exclusives for Solo. Um... Maybe even some ones that we weren't even expecting, like that Uncle Drew one at Walmart. So maybe we can get some really cool stuff here at Target, just like we did with Walmart. You never know, Target's a little bit of a gamble, but let's go in and find out what kind of stuff they got to show. Alright guys, we are in a Target here and I'm seeing this display for Solo, a Star Wars story. Very nice here, there. Very nice display here. And I'm seeing they have the Blu-ray and digital of Solo, A Star Wars Story for 
well I don't know the price they don't have the price right now guys uh, but I will find it out and they also have a 4k ultra HD blu-ray and digital only at Target exclusive uh, it comes with an ex includes limited edition 40 page gallery book inside plus exclusive digital bonus which not sure what the digital bonus is but this is what it looks like on the inside it actually looks pretty cool here and I really love the artwork here the artwork is actually really nice compared to actually that artwork yeah I really like that man that is really cool very nice here Pre pretty cool don't know the price of this but I will definitely find that out as well but um, I understand why people stayed away uh, yeah again things like the last Jedi turn people off and people were a little bit unsure about Alden Ehrenreich playing Han Solo and I was unsure about it too but actually he did a really great job he was absolutely phenomenal as Solo I thought he did a a great phenomenal job he was really awesome in 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 the movie um i i really wanted to see what lord and miller was going to do with this movie because i really like them as filmmakers but man there were so many troubles and issues and if you believe everything on set they had no idea what they were doing and overall though i i do think that ron howard did a good job with the movie regardless i, I really do i think he i think he made a competent star wars film and Again, people who stayed away, I think you guys were wrong. I think you definitely do need to check it out. It's, it's a really cool little adventure movie that I really did honestly enjoy. All right, guys, that'll do it for this display of Target. Very cool here. Very cool display here. All right, guys, let's see what else Target has. All right, guys, we're in this section of Target and that solo exclusive here, the 4K one, um, is actually $32.99. The Blu-ray and digital here is $22.99. And the DVD, which they do not have, is $19.99 as well. Again, really cool exclusive here, and I definitely do really love that artwork. Very nice. They also have here, they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital of Uncle Drew for $24.99. The Blu-ray DVD Digital and Exclusive here, um, Exclusive Headband for Uncle Drew. Man, were bobbleheads, headbands? I, I was not expecting any exclusives for Uncle Drew, honestly. This, every, both now have exclusives, weird. So either the headband at Wal uh, here at Target or the bobblehead at Walmart. Either or. You know, pick your poison. Uh, and they also have the DVD here for $14.99. And they don't have the Blu-ray, but it is $19.99 here as well. And again, man, I really did enjoy this movie. You know, honestly... I'm not really much of a basketball guy. Uh, I watch it every now and again, not big into it. I know the stars who are in this movie, uh, Shaquille O'Neal and a few of those uh, other guys. I, you know, I, I do like basketball for the most part, and I do like sports movies, and I think there have been some really great basketball movies. Um, he Got Game is a really great one. Also, White Men Can't Jump, great classic. Um, is this going to be a classic? Probably not, guys, but I still really thought it was a genuinely good movie. Not crazy funny, but I thought it was really decent, and for the most part, I, I did enjoy it. I was pleasantly surprised by by the movie. I did genuinely think it was a nice film. Decent. Uh, then, over here, I'm really not seeing much of the TV section over here except for they have 911 here the complete first season on DVD for 19.99 here again generic generic sort of cop responder drama probably not for me and they also have MacGyver season 2 the DVD for 14.99 um again let me know is this worth it because to be honest with you um I love the MacGyver back in the day, and yeah, there's nothing against rebooting stuff. You can reboot it all the time. Things are getting rebooted constantly, but I I just don't really see the point to it, I guess. But, eh, it's just me. So they have that. 
but I don't see Heroes Legends of Tomorrow, um, or, or, or DC Legends of Tomorrow, what I should say. But I do also see they have The Gifted here, the DVD for $19.99 as well. Again, should I get into it? Should I wait? Um, I do like the X-Men franchise. I like the X-Men universe. The problem with the X-Men franchise is I just don't know how any of these properties are going to happen or how how it's going to work under under Disney when they get all of these properties. Is is Will the gifted continue? Will they continue to do the uh, the movies? I mean, how are they going to work the whole X-Men franchise and universe? I'm not really sure, but I mean, it does look cool. And I definitely do got to give it a chance if you guys think it's worth it. Definitely let me know. And then on the other side here, I am seeing that they have Hot Summer Nights here, the DVD for $12.99. And this movie also has Michael Monroe, which actually is really cool because I really like her as an actress a lot. Um, really liked her in It Follows, thought she was really great in that. Okay, Independence Day Resurgence kind of sucks. Well, really sucks. Um, but generally, she's a really great actress. I, I also liked her in... Oh, man, um, there's another movie. Oh, uh, The Guest. She was really great in The Guest as well. I like her a lot in Timothee Chalamet. I heard only good things about this movie. I definitely, definitely got to check it out. Um, other than that, that seems to be it over here for Target. Um, let's head out, guys. So, the selection is not as good here as it was over at Walmart, but... We still got actually some pretty cool exclusives here that that solo uh, digibook is really really cool i really like that a lot and again an un another uncle drew exclusive i would have never thought that we would get two uncle drew exclusives but apparently this is the week for exclusives so yeah it's actually really cool regardless yeah not the selection but i was surprised with the exclusives and target definitely has some really cool ones so overall i'm pretty pleased with target this week uh all right guys let's see where the third and final location takes us all right let's get going all right we are at our third and final location the beast best buy I've actually been really happy with this week as far as physical media, man. We have gotten some interesting stuff, whether it's the cool displays for Solo, the cool exclusives, including exclusives for Uncle Drew, which I would have never imagined, but we've been seeing it all. I've liked the selection so far at both the stores. Definitely Walmart had better selection, but I've definitely liked everything that we've seen so far. And I think the Beast could be just as good, and we could get some pretty cool stuff to show, cool displays, cool exclusives. It could be some pretty cool stuff at the Beast, so let's see what they got this week to offer us, guys. Let's head in and find out. All right, guys, we are in at Best Buy here, and I am seeing this display for Solo, a Star Wars story right here. Very nice. Look at this very cool display here for Best Buy here. And first thing I'm seeing is they got the Blu-ray and digital for Solo A Star Wars Story for $22.99 here. They also have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital Ultimate Collector's Edition right here for $29.99. Kind of a little cool kind of sheen to that. Very nice. I kind of like that. And they also have an exclusive here. They have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital Limited Edition Collectible Steelbook only at Best Buy here for $34.99. Very cool. It shows off the Millennium Falcon. Shows off sort of the, the earlier version of the Falcon right there that was in the movie. Very nice steelbook here. Very cool. Really like that a lot. They are very awesome here. And, uh, you know what, I do have to admit that, again, I really do like the movie, but the movie unfortunately underperformed at the box office, and it was a real shame because I thought the movie was actually really good. I don't think we're going to get any more, like, solo sequels or anything, even though Alden Ehrenreich is sort of, um, 
he was signed on for three movies. I doubt that's going to happen. And they announced sort of the Boba Fett movie, and they announced um, the Obi-Wan movie a long time back, before this movie even came out. And now those, um, those movies are now, I think right now, on hold or they're canceled. Honestly, I didn't really ever need the Boba Fett movie, and really, honestly, I didn't really even need the Solo movie because I'm not big on prequels a lot of times, but this did surprise me. I really did want the Obi-Wan movie, though. The Obi-Wan film, I wanted bad, in a big bad way. Uh, just we're probably not going to get it now, and that's a damn shame. I just don't know where the Star Wars franchise is going to go after Episode Nine. I know they're doing stuff, another trilogy with Ryan Johnson and um, Benioff and Weiss, the guys from Game of Thrones. I, I just don't know where this can go, but... Uh, if you guys haven't given this movie a chance, definitely, definitely let me know. And let me know, you know, what your favorite Star Wars film is. Mine, oh, uh, I'm going to go Return of the Jedi. I love Return of the Jedi. But definitely let me know. But this is a really solid film, and I really did like it a lot. And you get a lot of great special features here. Uh, deleted scenes, which I'm actually really curious about the deleted scenes. What they are, um... Uh, as far as like is it more character stuff is, is it plot I'm curious about that uh, you get a lot of featurettes here a bunch of stuff talking about Han and Chewie and all the plot all the stuff very cool very cool special features and a great steelbook and again a really solid Star Wars movie as far as I'm concerned guys all right That'll do it for this display of Solo Star Wars Story. Let's see what else they got, guys. All right, guys, we are in this section of Best Buy here, and I am seeing they have Uncle Drew, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $19.99, and they also have a limited edition only at Best Buy steelbook for Uncle Drew. Oh my we have literally now seen every store have an exclusive for Uncle Drew. Guys, I swear to God, I would have never in a million years thought that we would have gotten three exclusives for Uncle Drew. Uh, and this one, guys, is probably the best of them all. This is a great looking steelbook. Oh my God, man. I love this steelbook. I love the design of it, the artwork. Very cool, man. If you kind of look side by side with this. I think this is a great looking steelbook. Man, that is crazy. I just didn't think we were ever going to get anything like this for Uncle Drew. But, man, color me surprised. And the movie, honestly, guys, it is really fun. I, I, I really do like the, the movie. It has a heartwarming message about family. And I think Kyrie Irving does a good job in the role of Uncle Drew. And I think all of the actors and... The, uh, the athletes who are in this do a great job as well. Um, it's, I wasn't expecting much, but I was really surprised. It was, it's a really, really well done movie. And this is a great looking steelbook. Um, you get a lot of special features here, man. You get animated shorts, deleted scenes, commentary, making of, featurette. Um, a lot of really interesting stuff here, man. Definitely... It's a $24.99 price tag, but I think you get a lot for your money here. And it's not a bad movie on top of that, too. A great steelbook, man. God, surprised. Uh, also, over here, I am seeing they have DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the complete third season for $16.99, and the Blu-ray Digital for $24.99 here. And, uh, again, I'm sort of watching Supergirl right now, the first season, and a lot of you have told me after the first season to sort of cut and run. End it. It's not worth it. Um, so what are your thoughts on DC's Legends of Tomorrow? I love the cover. I love sort of all the cool sort of superpowers that it looks like every of these heroes have. But is it a good show? CW, I found a lot of you guys end ended up telling me that CW is one of those places where the first season maybe a couple seasons are good and then things kind of fall to the waistline you're either still a fan or you're not uh, definitely let me know what you guys think here i do like the cover art though very cool and you know you get a lot of good special features here stuff from san diego comic-con last year gag reel unaired scenes 
uh, the four epic crossover episodes, all that jazz. And you get not bad special features, standard TV box, that stuff. But definitely let me know. I don't think I would ever really watch the show, but I'm interested to know what you guys think. All right, that does it for this section of Best Buy. Let's see what else they got, guys. All right, guys, we are in this section of Best Buy, and they do have the DVD of Uncle Drew for $14.99 as well, and the regular 4K for $24.99. But man, do I really love that steelbook, and probably think that is the best option of them all. Also over here, I am seeing they have the Blu-ray digital of Gotti for $15.99 here. And man, talk about such a troubled history with this movie as I as I talked to you guys earlier. Um, Sylvester Stallone was originally um, up for the role of Gotti. And of course that fell through, Travolta got it, but also Joe Pesci was supposed to be in the movie as well. He was supposed to play Gotti's confidant there. And he even gained, from what I heard, like 30 pounds for the role. And I guess then they offered him something different, and then he uh, ended up, you know, bowing out. And I guess um, now there's a big lawsuit or something going on. There's a huge thing with that. And the movie's a mess, man. It really is. Not only is it a mess, but it's just not really well done. And it's a shame because I really like Travolta, but... It just wasn't that good. And this movie is directed by Kevin Connolly. Kevin Connolly is one of the main actors from Entourage. And yeah, he just really just is not a good director. This movie's not really all that great of a gangster movie or a crime drama. And if you really think about it from Entourage, all of those actors from Entourage really haven't done anything since the show or done anything really good, I should say. Uh, which is a real shame because the the show from what I heard was good, but those actors have not went on to do anything great. Um, you don't even get any special features on this thing, which really sucks. I would have liked to have seen a making of or a commentary, but nothing. Um, they're probably embarrassed by this movie, and I can't blame them. Yeah, this is a time waster of a movie. I wouldn't waste time wa watching it, guys. I really wouldn't. Then they also have the 4K Ultra HD of Doctor Who Twice Upon a Time for $22.99 here. Um, not a big fan of Doctor Who, guys, but I know a lot of you out there are big fans. What do you think of this doctor? Was he a good doctor? Was he a bad one? Where does he rank among the doctors? Not only that, but um, are you guys looking forward to the, the female doctor? Is she going to be good, bad? What's your opinion? Definitely let me know. Um, like I said, should I get into Doctor Who? There's a lot of Doctor Who to, to look through, guys. Don't know if uh, I, I could really take the time to check out all of Doctor Who, but maybe I could get into it. And you got a few special features here, but nothing really major. But hmm, definitely let me know what your thoughts are on Doctor Who. Then I'm seeing 911 here, the DVD for 1999. Um... Actually, no special features on here, just just the episodes. Hmm, okay. And you also have the DVD of The Gifted for $19.99 as well here. And this doesn't even have any special features either, which I'm really shocked. Uh, no featurettes of, about the X-Men universe or these characters or anything. I'm really shocked. I thought that we would actually get special features for this, but uh, I don't know. For $19.99, maybe it's still worth it to pick up. But you might find a better deal on Black Friday. You might, guys. I'm not sure. And then I'm also seeing over here they have the DVD of Freaky Friday for $17.99. Disney remade Freaky Friday again? Really? Weirdest day ever. Oh, good, good lord. Uh, is this even good, guys? Is this good? I know a lot of these, like ones that Disney does like redos and they put them on their um they put them on, on their service uh is, is it worth it to check it out I that really old school one I really liked and you know what I did actually really enjoy the one with Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan that wasn't actually bad either um but to make another one this looks just very generic uh I don't know just doesn't look really great to me but I don't know this just looks really weird. 
Yeah, I'll probably stick to the older ones, not gonna really watch this, but definitely let me know. Uh, you get a bonus track, I guess, of a music? Blooper reel, audition, movie song, mix-up. Oh, oh, this is like, like a, like, like a sing-along movie? I don't know, I, some of these Disney ones I can't get into, guys. That, I gotta admit, thank God I don't have kids yet. Because some of this stuff I probably would be forced to watch, and I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that, guys. At least not yet. Oh man. Um, other than that, they also have the DVD of Solo here for 19.99 as well. If you guys were interested in that, and just so you guys know, yet again another update. Um, they have a bunch of the Nightmare Before Christmas steelbooks here for the $14.99 price tag, but they still, in my area, do not have the Hocus Pocus one. So that still is not available in my area, guys. It may be in your area, but my area, not at all. So maybe it was good for me to travel and uh, get, get, get the steelbook. It might have been worth it for the wait that this is waiting to get restocked. I don't know. Uh, other than that, that'll do it, guys. Let's head out. So I am really happy with the selection this week at Best Buy, guys. In fact, every store had some cool stuff to look at, exclusives. And we made it three for three on Uncle Drew. Who knew that would actually happen? Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Really cool exclusives for Solo, Uncle Drew. A wonderful, awesome display to, to show here at Best Buy for Solo. Yeah, there was a lot of really cool selection. A lot of really great stuff to see at Best Buy really really loved it this week was really good for physical media and going into october oh yeah there's going to be a lot more stuff to check out too trust me it's going to be crazy and insane this week last week too everything is really getting good for physical media trust me all right guys let's head home and finish the video all right everybody that'll do it for the blu-ray and dvd out and about video this week and Man, I really loved going and doing this out and about because, you know, sometimes you're surprised about what you find. And I knew that we were going to be getting solo exclusives. I kind of knew what to look for this week. But there's always those surprises that you never really know. And I was surprised by the exclusives for Uncle Drew and generally every store... I found something interesting to look at and yeah even though the selection was a little rough at times in certain spots like Target I was still able to find stuff and was still able to find stuff really interesting to show you guys and that's really well appreciated I love doing these out and abouts and just getting those moments where you're just you're just surprised by what you find and that's why I always tell you guys going to these stores is one of the best experiences to do because the things you find are just awesome you you never know until you sort of do the hunting and going around and finding stuff and man it's it's a real pleasure every single week i love doing it and this was one of those really great weeks and another really great thing that i'm loving is that we're heading into october and october is one of my favorite months of all time guys and there is going to be a lot of cool physical media to check out for that month. And it seems like the physical media has kind of been building for a while. We've been getting a lot of really cool stuff. And with the summer releases finally coming on Blu-ray and DVD, I kind of feel like we're going to have a lot of really cool stuff to show in October. And I really cannot wait for that. I hope you guys cannot wait for it either. And... Yes, speaking of physical media, guys, definitely let me know what you guys picked up this week. When I got home, I had uh, some really pleasant surprises in the mail, guys. I had a package in the mail from Severin Films, uh, a Blu-ray that got released this month from Severin. Very excited to check this one out. Um, yeah, very cool horror title. I also got a package in the mail from Ronin Flicks. Um, two limited edition Blu-rays that ended up getting sold exclusively at their site. And 
I am very interested to open this bad boy because uh, the couple of limited editions I was really, really pumped to pre-order and get and man, um, well worth it. Two great, great titles. Definitely love those. And I got a, another package in the mail from Amazon US. Um, this title, um, basically guys, this is one of the 4K titles that got released recently. A horror film that um, I absolutely love and I cannot wait to check this bad boy out as well. So I got that package. So uh, that and I ended up getting a release over at Best Buy as well. So I bought something there. So I got a title here, I got a title here, I got a couple titles here, and titles here. I got a boatload of stuff here, guys. A crap load. Um, you know, I told you guys last week that I thought that the haul that I was getting for this month was going to be small. Actually, it's turned out to be a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Um, so I am very excited to show you guys what I picked up in my Blu-ray pickups video, which will drop at the beginning of next month. It will show off all of the releases that I got for the month of September. And there has been some really cool titles that I've been picking up over the month, guys. Popular titles, limited editions, out of print, um, retro titles, you name it, I've been picking it up, guys, and it is very, very cool, the selection that I got. Um, like I said, I thought it was going to be a small haul, but it's turned into a lot bigger than I ever anticipated, so definitely check that video out when it drops at the beginning of next month, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the other videos that I do. The Blu-ray pickup videos, the Blu-ray DVD out and about videos that I do here. The theatrical movie reviews that I do every single week with my friends, plus much more content on the channel. If you're a lover of movies and physical media, hit subscribe and become part of the Film Fan Nation. I have great subscribers. I thank my subscribers all the time. I love the comments. I love the support. I love I love all of them. I I love doing these videos for the subscribers, for the people who love movies and really cherish my thoughts and I really appreciate it a lot. So if you haven't come on board the channel yet, subscribe and come on board. And I will see you guys back next week for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video. Happy hunting, guys. Take care. I'll see you back again for another video.